hi guys if you are into rag applications and have been following my channels you cannot miss llama index this is a very good framework to turn your enterprise data into production rating llm applications so you can see here we have llama index at the center on the left we have the data we make the embeddings of the data we use llms we store the embeddings as vectors fetch those vectors whenever there is a, a query and get those evaluation matrices and on the output side we can have a chat format we can have a semantic search we can make different agents uh, structured extraction of outputs question and answer and everything so in this video i'm going to test out the llama index how the code is and just to get started and for the llms i'm going to uh, introduce you to nvidia which has a free apis for you for example you can see here 4000 credits are left for uh, testing out these uh, llms and these are all hosted on their servers and it's pretty easy to use you can use llama 370 billion instruct which would not run on my local system you could use other gpus but since nvidia is providing this for free and it's pretty fast uh, this is what you can try so in this video i am going to link on the llama index and nvidia if this is something that you want to try keep following with me on this video we are going to test a rag application so i have a folder uh, nvidia youtube so what i'm going to do is say cmd and then i'm going to say code space dot and press enter this will open up the code on my code editor which is the visual studio code editor and uh, people have been asking uh, you know at least two three people in each video has uh, some difficulty in installing the conda getting that conda installation so what you can do is you can go to anaconda download and you can just install this on your system like just download this and install it this is for windows so once you have that what you can do is you can go to the terminal and there you can check out what is installed for example conda uh, info dash dash envs so this will give me the list of environments that i already have since i've been testing on this environment the nvidia environment i'm going to select that environment but in order to create an environment like this you can uh, write this command conda create dash n uh the name of the environment your desired environment then the python that we are going to be using is 311 and dash y so when you run this uh, the nvidia environment will be created okay so then we need to activate that environment nvidia and this will be activated and the how, how do you know is that uh, we have this nvidia inside the call and you have created a new environment known as nvidia we can uh, do the installations of the requirements so i have this file uh, don't worry i will share all this code on my github page and i will uh, share the link and you can have a look so we have this uh, requirements.txt file and we need to install these requirements.txt file so for installing what we need to do is i'm just going to say cls so for installing we say pip install dash r requirements requirements.txt so using this command you can install all the requirements that are mentioned in the requirements.txt file and this is going to install now i already have installed the requirements since i've been testing on this environment next is i have uh, received or downloaded two number of uh, toy data so this folder toy data has two data which is uh, basically a text file uh, this is the hunger games first chapter text file and the speeches of donald trump uh, this is again a text file of the different speeches so i've got those from this link uh, the hunger games and the trump speech from this link the, basically this is a random text file that i wanted so this is the test file now what i'm going to do is open up this ipynb and we can see we can open this uh, here now on the right hand side what i can do is for selecting uh, the kernel you can go here and uh, select the nvidia kernel on your system now i think i can close the terminal here and now this system is ready 
for you to test. So what I've done here is use LLMs from the NVIDIA AI endpoints, the Llama index and Langchain to show you a rack system. So first of all, what we need to do is install the requirements that we have already done. So the step one is we want to load the NVIDIA AI endpoint. Now we import the get pass and OS. Then we check for the if the OS environ.get you know has this NVIDIA API key. If not, then we take that key. So we are going to run this. For running this, we can just say shift enter and then it requests for the NVIDIA key up here. Now we can go to the NVIDIA page here and uh, take any model, for example, this Llama model. Go to the open full page here and then you can test out the model here you can copy the code but what i'm more interested is getting the api key so you can click here generate the key so you copy the key and put it here in the nvidia key and press enter so this sets up the nvidia key the next is we are just going to test out the model uh, if that's working so from langchain nvidia ai endpoints we import the chat nvidia and we start up an LLM here we are using Mixtrel 8 cross 7b and NVIDIA API key is the NV API key which we have just uh, seen the result uh, we get is LLM.invoke write me a small song on AI and we print the result.content if we run this uh, we can see the inference speed and everything because we are not using any GPU of our own we're not using any CPU for the LLM part on our own and it's uh, you know pretty simple to get started and using this large language large model as well so we have this is running and the api key is all set up the next we are going to work our upper ladder with the rag interface now for the rag interface uh, you can see these two videos my previous videos um, on the rag introduction so basically in the rag system what we do is we load data chunk it up store it in a vector database and when the query comes we approach select the appropriate chunks from the vector database and uh, give out the result so first of all that when we have that data we need to embed it now for embeddings uh, which is basically converting the text to numbers we have different models and nvidia has one such model so in the nvidia embeddings we can see this model and then we get that nv embeddings and we store that uh, or use that to make the langchain embeddings so the li embeddings is what we're going to use so we are going to run this this will uh, load up uh, an instance of langchain embedding in the li embeddings so this li embedding uh, variable is the variable uh, that we can use to embed any text next we are going to wrap the nvidia embedding endpoints and the nvidia mixtrel endpoints into the llama index service context so the service context there is this term which is defined uh, there's this class which is defined uh, in the llama index library which takes in the embedding models and different chunking principles and the llm model itself and we make this uh, service ready so basically it's, it's just a bundling of different stuffs so you can see in the service context we bundle up the chunk size of 1024 we bundle up the um, llm the llm that we are going to use is on the top we have that llm this is the an llm which is the mixed rel 8 cross 7b and then uh, the embed model is the li embedding which we have just created here at this step then we set the global service context as the as the service context so whenever we call on service context uh, our code will know that we are working with this llm we're working with this embedding and we're working with this chunk size you can put in other parameters as well now once we have the chunking we need a vector store as well because we want to store that chunks in a vector uh, store so llama index makes it so easy so from llama index we import the vector store index and simple directory reader this is for reading the the documents first so this is the first step where we are going to read the documents so the first step is this for any rag application we take that toy data and the text file we load that data using the simple directory class 
and store it that into the documents now using the documents and the service context service context means we have the llm here and the embed model here so the service context is put here and the service context defines the L li embeddings which is the embedding model and the large language model itself use this command so vector store index from documents we put in the documents we put in the llm start up the vector store as an index so this index is something which stores everything so now it stores it, it loads the data when the data is loaded it is chunked up it's uh, chunked up into different number of samples after chunking it is made into different embeddings the embeddings are stored and your index is ready to be queried so all those steps has been done using this simple command and this index is ready to be served now this is loading uh, because it's a, a pretty good file a good length file so this is loading but what I've tested earlier, let us look at the examples uh, while this is loading and then we can uh, see up, uh, see and run the new examples. So the first example is we can define a variable query engine and this index as query engine. And then we start up the query engine and give it a query like give me five characteristics of Donald Trump. So we get the response in this variable. The response.metadata will show the part file that it has found out so it correctly identifies the uh, trump speech.txt as the file from which it could get the information about donald trump next we can see the response so the five characteristics of donald trump so the first characteristic is, is confident donald trump exudes confidence in his speech often using phrases like i'm the only one i'm the best two is business oriented he frequently highlights his business background, mentioning his company's properties and financial success, opinion on it. The Trump is not afraid to share his views, often making strong statements about his likes and dislikes. Competition, he presents himself as a winner, emphasizes the importance of winning in various aspects of his life. Outspoken, Trump is known for his direct and unfiltered communication style, often speaking bluntly and candidly about his thoughts and feelings. Uh, now, this is a pretty good answer. I like it. The next query is summarize the game. The game refers uh, to the game referred to is the Hunger Games, an annual event in a dystopian society where 24 tributes, young representatives from different districts fight to the death until only one remains the contestant described in the context is in the midst of this competition trying to survive and outsmart her opponents the game makers the organization organizers of the event manipulated the arena and attributes circumstances to create an environment for the audience in this part of the story the contestants face a wall of fire precision launches firing fireballs and a pack of careers the stronger and more ruthless tributes she must navigate these challenges while avoiding poisonous substances and stay hidden from her enemies now we can see that it took about three minutes for uh, loading this data and getting that index ready now we can put our own questions so let this question uh, let us ask this question so response is question uh, response is query engine dot query how to win the game right into three sentences and response is response so we run this and see the response okay the query engine is not defined we need to run the query engine here so we take this copy and paste it here and then run this so to win the game, it is essential to have a clear understanding of the rules and objectives, maintaining a strong focus on the goals. Pretty cool. But this is just a simple application and uh, I encourage you to try it out because the system that we are talking about and I want to focus more is on the Llama index as it makes it so easy to get started your RAG applications. If you head back to the Llama index website, you have so many uh, examples if you go to get started for developers you can see so many examples and you can test it out yourself or get your use case running so if you like this channel please follow my channel also please support me on patreon if you want to encourage me 
to make more videos like this like and share this video comment your questions on the comment box and i'll be happy to interact with thank you and have a nice day watch out the next video